So, hello, hello, hello. Today I'd like to take a look at this, which is another number two uh, service dress uniform that belonged to a para. Um, do you know, this one is an FAD. I was, it was recently pointed out to me by a very kind viewer that um, I'd got it wrong about the FAD uniform, the, the foot, what's it called, Future Army Dress. I, I, co I quoted that this type of outfit, this type of jacket would be FAD. It's rubbish, it's not, it, it, it isn't. I'm sorry about that, I got that wrong. The FAD, as was pointed out to me, has the pleated pockets and the curvy pockets and the, the pleated, and, and then on, also on the sleeves, you've got these embellishments. That's an FAD, true FAD uniform. I knew I had one somewhere, <laughs> but um, this one is sort of complete-ish. It's got the uh, lanyard for the regimental headquarters. I hope I've got that on the right shoulder, knowing my luck, it should be on the other shoulder. <laughs> Gosh, trouble is my internet's doing, so I can't tell. That is definitely a, a, a para um, a, a number two service dress belt, and uh, and this this belonged to a sergeant, obviously. This chap's not got his wings though, which is interesting. Mm. Got the collar dogs. Then there's the collar dogs. There's the shirt um, in in there. And there's the trousers as well, Miss Money Bunny. You always have the trousers on you. But um, I've got I've got it sort of complete. Shirt, tie, trousers, you know, the uniform. And if we can see the trousers, we can't see the trousers. I'm not a shirt lifter. <laughs> not a shirt lifter. This one's interesting because it's for a corporal. Um, this one does have the P Company uh, wings. That, that obviously the paras one is wings. So so that's different. I'm restoring this one. No, I know everyone's going to go, the buttons are long, wrong, and they're all wrong, it's all wrong. I bought this jacket, right? I bought this coat with no buttons on it at all. I've put what I've got in my me, in me attic on, on there, and um, if it's wrong, I apologise to the Parachute Regiment. I can wholeheartedly apologise. I'm not trying to pretend I'm anyone other than just a collector, but I've got the buttons I've got. I've ordered two more, so that will be a complete buttoned jacket. Obviously, I've kept the old threaded bits there so I can guide where the new buttons have to go um, but this this is a, a, a not an FAD this is a, a number two service dress uniform uh, who which belonged to Co Corporal Edwards looks like it says arsehole then <laughs> I doubt he was an arsehole if he'd passed P Company somehow I've got this thing in my head about that but no, they, 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 I, 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 I massive respect to the Paris. Obviously, I need to get some bits for it. I need the collar dogs. I need to get the belt. Um, it's, 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 it's moving on slowly, quite frankly, because I've, I've got the beret somewhere um, from my old mate Jock. Who, this, this is my mate Jock, who was 15th. That was his. This was given to me by his wife when he died, unfortunately. Bless him. Angus, his name was. I won't, I'm not going to him, give him his surname because that, that would. I don't want his wife is still alive. I don't want her her private details known. But his real name was Angus, uh, and um, but he was we called him Jock, and um, he was a lovely fella. He was in the fifteenth Scottish Volunteer Battalion of the Parachute Regiment. They don't exist anymore now. Can you believe it? That's the end of that. But and they did do anyway. Out of interest, here's a great book. If you if you if you love paras, anything para like I do, read this about the Falklands hero Ian Mackay. Or Ian McKay, even. I don't know, is it McKay? Is it McKay? Is it McKay? You say potato, I say potato, isn't it? But, um, <laughs> but he was the last Victoria Cross of the 20th century. Really, really cool. That's Jimmy, by the way, sniffing the parachute. Are you sniffing the parachute shield, mate? Are you going to go from an aeroplane sometime soon with your red beret on? <laughs> Blessings, that little dog. So there's, there's the book. I'll let you read it for yourself. There's no point you can freeze. And um, it's, a, it's a wonderful book. This, this, this lad was, was, was a real hero. Um, he lost his life in, um, in, in, in the Falklands um, and Mount Longdon, in the Battle of Mount Longdon. Well, he threw himself into an Argentinian machine gun nest, so... Ha! But to save others, he did. He did save the lives of many others by doing that. What a hero, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, it's a pen and sword book. There's the ISBN if you want to get hold of a copy. It's a wonderful piece of kit, that book. And and there you go. That, did I say that's the RHQ lanyard? I hope it's on the right. I, I, I've got a horrid feeling it should be on this side. <laughs> My internet's down, as I've said, so I can't check it out. But um, me, I normally double and treble check things. But um, anyway, there you go. That's the FAD.
the, uh, uh, the Future Army dress proper FAD. Thank you to that kind um, viewer that, that corrected me and, and got me back, got my head back screwed on. <laughs> and, and it was in, done in a nice polite way as well it wasn't like you're an arsehole so many people <laughs> ring me up and, well they don't ring me up they, they email me and they go you're an, you're an idiot what are you doing you know what, how dare you sort of thing <laughs> I'm not a I, I was never in the Paris man I was never in the Paris I, I should be so lucky I was in the Royal Marines mind you the, the, the reserves just a brief <laughs> stint before I kind of did wasn't <laughs> before I had a, a motorcycle accident that nearly left me completely crippled <laughs> Anyway, I did try my best, but um, no, massive respect to the Paris. And as I say, these are two two wonderful number two dress service dress uniforms from from my collection that I have upstairs in in in, in that their attic. <laughs> anyway, if you've got this far, you're nuts. And thanks ever so much for watching. I really appreciate it. As always, cheers, cheers, cheers.